One, one day I'll be really happy and then another day I just noticed that something was a bit different and I was eight years old and it has a bit of a stutter. Like it, was, it wasn't too bad when I first started off. I was, I was really, really aware of it. At age 13, I could, I could barely, I felt like I could barely speak. When, and, and whenever I did, I kind of felt this awful feeling whenever it came out. It's like a barrier. Yeah, and I just had all this doubt on my mind. And I just, in a social situation, I just had so much fear and anxiety. It might sound kind of weird, but what was in the, what, what I thought and what came out was completely different. It just actually felt impossible to actually get, get it out. When I would go home, I would go into my room and I'd just be instantly relieved of everything. It was only temporary, really. Then I went back to school and it was all, it all sort of started again. Some of the time I would be all right, and then I used to just, yeah, I just tried to talk and stuff. I, I felt like I always wanted to say more, but it's really held back. Like I felt like that kind of like child was gone from my past. And it, it was just filled with fear and anxiety, and it was leading towards um, being really sad, pretty much. Just really alone, like feeling. I remember at university and for one day I didn't stutter very much. I was really extroverted and trying to make heaps of jokes and stuff. And then the next day I wasn't comfortable with talking to the same people. It was like it was like a new, it was like a, I got, it was like a reset. I remember having OCDs about um, like touching things. I had to kind of, I felt if I did it wrong that I have bad luck or something. Got to the point where I just, yeah, I just started using drugs and stuff, um, trying to find things that would make me happy, like just drinking and that sort of thing. I did a personality test quite a while ago. I was like one of the rarest, but I, rarest types, and I could, I was just happy I could fit in with some sort of social group. I got really excited with it. I just remember being really fascinated by reading about my, my type and my, why I acted the way I did sometimes. And eventually I started going, getting curious about, just, everything seemed really designed and perfect and stuff. And this kind of amongst all the chaos. And then um, my girlfriend saw a sign for a church and we just, we decided to go along. And then we, we walked in there and it, it was just all this music and stuff. and. It's felt really, it's all really amazing. It really, yeah. And then that same day, we were, we, we both put our hands up to give, to give our lives to Jesus. And I just felt like, um, yeah, I was, a, I had, a, I was worthy, really. Yeah, and I just I had a purpose on earth, and I just find now I've got like this voice, and I, I'm not, as, I'm not afraid to use it. I just don't have this fear and anxiety, and just, it just. It's really refreshing for me, and a lot of the time I get really excited. And yeah, I, sometimes I can't hide it. I just keep talking, or yeah, being annoying, I guess. <laughs> I really get a sense of satisfaction come from like helping people with anxiety and who can't speak up but they want to. Yeah, life is really good. It's um. I look forward to getting up in the morning. I, I jump out of the bed and I've got this, this, this energy and this passion for life. Like I just wanna, I'm just, yeah, I'm just excited.